Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 17th of 2021. Well, it is titled Alphonsus and Alzarkal. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our moon and looking at a couple of craters here and Alphonsus and the on the left and our Zark our Zarkel on the right hand side and two relatively large craters close together uh, on our moon. Now when we see this here, we're looking at a time around first quarter moon. And you can see that these would be right along the terminator or the dividing line between day and night on our moon. And the further you go down towards the bottom of the image, the more nighttime it becomes. And you can note this by looking at the shadows in the craters. Note how the shadows become longer and longer. If you look towards the top of the image, shadows do not look very distinct within the craters. And you have other shadows further down where they almost cover the entire crater where only a small part of the lip of the crater is still remains in sunlight only that highest portion of it. Now this is the best place to look on the moon is right along the terminator because the shadows are going to be most distinct giving you the most of visibility of various objects when the sun is beating straight down on the moon such as during full moon the features get washed out because there are no shadows as the sun beats straight down so here we can see some of those and get to see some more detail within these two craters. Now cratering on the moon is caused by large impacts when things smash into the moon and have done so over the past billions of years, they will leave behind remnants. You'll note that all of these are pretty circular. And that is because when the impact comes in, it doesn't mean that everything came straight down on it. It simply means that when the when the object impacted, it was a massive explosion. So even if it came in at a relatively steep angle, it still gives off an explosion when it erupts into the crust of our moon and then expels out material, it'll still always give us a circular pattern. And you can notice that whether you're looking at small craters or large craters, that they all look relatively circular. And that is all due to these objects hitting. Now we look at our own Earth and we don't see that many craters. That's because our Earth has other effects that keep craters from forming as much and from keep cra keeping craters that do form from lasting for a very long time. On Earth, we have an atmosphere which eliminates small craters. And we also have erosional processes that eliminate large craters over relatively short periods of time, at least speaking astronomically and geologically, that to wipe out a crater within a million years is relatively short, meaning that we're only seeing those craters that formed within the last million years on Earth. Whereas when we look at the moon, we can see craters that formed within the last few million years. But we can also see craters that formed billions of years ago, because this the moon does not have weathering processes like Earth. So things like wind and rain that weather away things slowly on Earth, even if it's only a fraction a day, a, a year, will over million, a million years or so completely wipe out craters such as these. So while they're still visible on the moon, even had craters formed like this on Earth billions of years ago, they would long since be gone. So that was our picture of the day for July the 17th of 2021. It was titled Alphonsus and Alzarkzakel. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be 2.5 million light years away. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>